Can you foresee uh, some challenges or have you experienced challenges in terms of strategy and governance that comes from these new collaborations? There's a, yeah, gov governance of the of the collaboration is crucial. How What both parties are putting in, uh, what they're getting out, what they're responsible for, that's part of it. But I think a bigger challenge is around consumer acceptance. Um, this is something I've been, we've been thinking a lot, and that's a big challenge we face at Motif in terms of our strategy is, are consumers comfortable with this level of technology and how do, how are we transparent enough with them that they understand the technology and feel safe about it, but aren't so transparent that they're like confused and walk away from it as a result. Um, and this is why I think the collaborations are important so that the industry can have a joint message to consumers versus everybody stating it differently and consumers feeling just very confused and as a result scared. Um, I think I'm really excited about, so um, I'm really excited about how Gen Z are shopping because their trends they're shopping differently than I think any other um, generation has. And I think they're really going to change the way we think about technology and food because um, the comfort level is completely different. And the, as a result, the acceptance is very different. It's the baby boomers holding us back. No. Hold <laughs> us down. Uh, so, and maybe one more, Nancy. Sorry, I'm, I'm, a lot of great questions from the students. Uh, Andrew, uh, I think uh, Andrew's question nicely builds on that. Uh, one of the reasons plant-based has gained traction is due to the reduction in greenhouse emissions caused by livestock such as cows. How much of a plant-based wave and this Gen Z push is attributable to turning towards becoming a more green economy? Yeah, I think that's the easy message, right? I think the easy message is it's environmental messaging, it's animal welfare, it's sustainability, which I think is certainly the push for the start of the movement. But Again, I, I think about it on this technology curve, right? So who are the early adopters and innovators? Who, who are the lag, late uh, the majority, the late adopters? Um, the late adopters aren't as invested in um, sustainability and, and animal welfare. That's the reality of it. And so I think sustainability only answers the first part of the question, but to get to the barter market, taste and like taste and cost ultimately are, are key. Um, the people who are in the early adopter phase are willing to compromise on taste. They're willing to pay more because it meets their values. But if we want it to be a broader movement, it has to address the taste and cost um, concerns that have been been um, brought up. 